Welcome back, everyone, to episode two of my playthrough of Satisfactory Update 7. Picking up where I left off. I had uh, increased my levels to the point where I have uh, unlocked foundations. And uh, that's what this game, this playthrough, this episode, I should say, is going to be about. Getting the foundations down and getting all of these raw materials automated. wanted to get the foundations first so I can uh, put all the machinery except for them the miners on, on a foundation uh, I'm gonna need a lot more stuff here I made some stuff but I'm gonna need more stuff go around pick up stuff from the little auto miners Turn it into copious quantities of other stuff. Well, now we're ready to put some foundations down. Well, you say that. I'm going to have to move the, the hub. I want that on a foundation as well, so I'm just zap that. And that. And unfortunately, I didn't have room in my inventory. So all this stuff went into a little box, which I have to get rid of. See, what do I have here that I can dump? Something of little or no value. Well, there's 12 leaves that are of little or no value. Mm, I just can't replace it, huh? Why? Why must life be so hard? So I'm going to have to Trash it. Oh, come on. Squares are so tiny. Alright. Uh, all that's left there is some meaningless stuff. Though I think I'm need, going to need to trash it to get rid of that box. So I can start putting down foundations. Right then. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Eh, we'll start too close. May have to sort of ration the uh, foundations till I start producing copious quantities of stuff. Put them down where I need them. Yeah, I should have picked up that plant first, but yeah, what you gonna do? It won't let me pick him up. Even if I did pick it up, it wouldn't have mattered. It would have grown back. I guess that's why you like to use those four meter foundations. They cover up a lot more stuff. Anyway, let's put down. Put our hub back here. I want to get it just right. Luckily, always get up and try again. It's not quite right, and it isn't. The little legs there are off of the platform. Doesn't really matter, but it's going to bother me either way. Let's try this again. Hard to get a good good angle on this here. Let's see, is that the right, what, right way around? You see, I speak English well. I learn it from a book. I think I want the... Uh, 
power generators on this side. You get rid of these exclamation points. They bug me, man. Go away. Right, I'll put some stuff in there. Just to make you happy. Looks like I got enough biomass there to get stuff up and running here. When the time comes. And I get the... Uh, Workshop put down. Uh, no, I want that also on top of foundations. Uh, I should change the build mode here. So I can just paint with them. Uh, where is it? There we go. Uh, R. Toggle build mode. Zoop. Zoop. Yeah, see, that's much quicker. Alright. Now, do I have enough room to put this up here? All the stuff's probably going to get moved again anyway. Once you've got enough things unlocked and you've got a nice stockpile of raw materials, then you can start thinking along the lines of uh, different buildings for, for different things, like a, uh, a building just for the iron and all iron-based objects. Like screws and and uh, rods. And that'll mean moving everything around. But before you can do that, you really need to uh, stockpile a good amount of the items needed. Okay, I think we'd start with iron. So we should work our way over towards those two deposits so we can put down our miners. See how close. seem to recall you could probably go right over the top of these and still have your miners there, but... Nice like to have a little bit of nature left over here. So I think this is close enough. Made some more stuff. And now we can put down our miner. That one's gonna be a little closer. These deposits aren't even. Alright, I'm gonna have to go pick up some more raw materials. Still got to do this by hand at the moment, but by the end of this episode, I won't have to.
All right, let's see what we need a smelter. need some more stuff. Isn't that always the case? Wire. Got enough copper in my inventory there. Just make like a ton of it. Let's uh, fill out foundations here. I think we're going to be needing it. The image of what's going to come is forming in my head. Okay. If we use this uh, row, this last row here of foundations and build our production sort of along those lines. Okay, we can go right from there into there. Put another smelter down here. I think I want to keep these two deposits sort of separate at the moment. I can have one concentrating on just making ingots. And the other one... Plates, which would be the uh, other thing we need the most of. Yeah. And before it, I'm already out of plates. Oh, I'll be so glad when this episode is done. I can sit back and relax as all the wealth comes pouring in. Great. Okay, I think this one here will be making the ingots right off the bat, so I'm going to put in a storage container here. Look organization. You can hold the control key and get them to line up with each other. It's a big help. Although I do have two things at different levels there. Might be confusing it a bit. All right. Oh, that one went down good. All right. Set this one up to ingots. This one up to ingots. The smelters are um, slower than the miners, so it's sort of inefficient. They're twice as slow, so uh, the miners are putting out more stuff than each one of these can handle. Uh, later on, if I can be able to put some splitters down, you can then split your miner output into two, go into two different smelters. then your minor output will be keeping up with your smelters. It'll be a little more efficient. Even though you do have twice as many smelters and using more energy as well. I'm just trying to get a handle on 
how many machines can I drive with these two biomass burners? I think we're fine for, for a while here. Now, the output here, I want to make plates, so I need another constructor. And I need two more of those fancy metal plates, some cable. I want the output of this constructor there. The ingots to go right into another constructor making plates. Uh, reinforced plates. It screws. There we go. Two reinforced iron plates. on the edge there the belt will loop around off the foundation which is fine set that to iron plate That'll be the top priority on that one. And what I'm planning to do is that one that's making just ingots. When that box gets almost filled up with ingots, I'll add a structure to that output to turn uh, the surplus into rods. But for now, we need a box to store our plates in. There we go. Okie dokie. All right, it's ready to go all of what I'm doing with the iron at the moment is ready so it's a matter of running power to this stuff still keeping an eye on the wattage okay let's get, start running cables here I need uh, two poles here. Having a limit of four lines per pole can be a little bothersome. So you just have to use more poles and this is aesthetically pleasing. I think another one down here will be good. Okay. Need some more cable. Uh, 
Okay, make sure these are tied together. Always a good idea to have a, a master grid. Otherwise, when you run out of fuel or trip a breaker, you don't know, you won't know where to go to fix it. Right, and I think we'll need a pull out here for the miners. Idiot. Run a cable over here. Eh, sort of going through that machine. That's all right. I said all this. It's not the final look of our factories. This is just getting us up and running. Put another. No, I'm not going to put another pull down because I'm out of copper wire. All right, went and made some copper wire. It's always something. hooked up. This guy hooked up. I think everything's hooked up. I got tons of biomass so I can start these puppies going here. Good. Okay, turning out ingots. Bring out ingots there. See if we got any plates coming through. Later on, we can start gathering slugs. We can make uh, the devices to create the efficiency of these machines. All right, next up is concrete or limestone. We gotta, I gotta pick up all this stuff again. Needed to be done anyway. Build our foundations out towards there. But I need some plates. How many plates have you made? 86. Probably not enough. It'll do for now. At least I didn't have to make them by hand. Might as well build out that way, because I'm going to have to put uh, copper processing there, too. All right. I think that's a good start. And we're going to have to put down the miners. Uh, I got all the stuff I need, except the little little miner, so and I need two more plates for the constructor. Uh, this stuff 
limestone goes straight into the constructor. There's no smelting involved. I'm going to pick these guys up. Right. Minor Mark 1. It looks like it's aligned with the grid more or less. Alright. And the constructor. Still, you still need those plates, man. They didn't just magically appear. We're gonna have to go make them. Grab some of these ingots. This is always a bit of the pain because you gotta make the iron rods before you can make the screws. Chicken and the egg time. Yeah, let's get these guys lined up. It's hanging off the edge, but that's alright. Let me put down another row of Foundations. Okay. Set this guy to do concrete. And once again, it's inefficient. The miner is putting out twice as much raw material as the constructor can handle. So the conveyor belt's always going to stop and go, waiting for the constructor to finish spitting out some concrete. I think the first thing we're going to have to. Uh, Update is that. That is, uh, put a splitter in and uh, two constructors. Get the most efficiency out of that one miner. And of course, you can use the uh, power slug stuff to increase efficiency as well. Eventually, though, that's what you want, is the uh, inputs and outputs to be sort of synchronized. You don't want either device waiting on the other one. Checking my power again. I think we're still, still good. These individual machines. Don't use that much power. Speaking of which, gotta run some more cables. And I can't afford because I need copper wire. Don't worry, copper, you're next. Never have too many power poles. All right, one to the miner, one to the constructor, and 
once miner starts spitting them out, structure should start up. Double checking, making sure it's set up. It is. Yay, we're making concrete automatically. Life is getting better. And it's doing pretty well. Biomass burns a lot slower than just plain leaves. Okay, we gotta get, uh, let's see, we have, no, we need some plates. Luckily, we've been making plates. Yeah. Take them all. That's what you're there for. Cut down my visits to the, the workbench there. Alright, now we get to go down to, to our copper deposit. Put a miner down. I do have enough copper ingots in my inventory to make whatever we need until this thing is up and running. Hi guy, you're coming with me. Miner. Idiot. And now we gotta run a long belt. I think once I get to the point where I'm breaking stuff up into uh, factories, I could build a little factory here that just makes copper stuff. It sends the uh, finished product to a main hub. Far up where we can go. Yep, that'll do. I think I can go up on the cliff. Bring it up. All right, then. Yeah, we just made it. Okay, now we can start putting our copper processing in here. And like the iron, I'm going to put a smelter down. I think that's the orientation I want. It's offset from the output of the concrete there. Yeah, we're gonna set that to ingots. See, can I connect this directly? Let's see. Yeah. Excellent. It's all coming together. All right. Then we need a uh, container for the copper ingots. And sort of like what I'm going to do with the iron is uh, once this container is almost filled up with ingots, I'll add an output to it to another constructor to make uh, copper wire. Okay. And until that time, I'll just make the copper wire we need manually.
Yeah, we've got to extend our power. Need more concrete. And some more plates. World plates. They're not getting ahead because I keep stealing from them. Moving right along on the ingots. That's fine. I think I'll make some more. Convert some of that. Okay. Now I think we can run power down to the miner. Two, three, yeah. Be the fourth connection. the miner and we're ready to go. Okay. Want to make sure. Yep. Miner's mining. Let's take the belt back up. Pretty good there. We are just under our 40 megawatt capacity of those two burners. And I'm thinking. Since I am just under the f that, I'm going to have to uh, add another burner here. Otherwise, when that copper structure comes online, I think we'll be close enough to trip the breakers. We keep our power sort of centralized here for the moment. find a spot. Great. And we have an open cable there. Hook that up. Great. Let's get this guy running. Right, that takes us up to uh, about 70 megawatts. Ooh, look at that. The galaxies and the ringed planets. See how we're doing. 
working really well there. Doing okay there. That's one of those that could stand to be uh, doubled up on. Increase output. Check our concrete. Yeah, moving right along. Uh, where's the magic ingots? Uh, this is not powered. As I forgot to hook him up. Oy. Another post there. Head up. There we go. Much better. All right, we are making ingots. Yeah, we're doing pretty good there. I think we're gonna have to start worrying about uh, getting more biomass. Uh, maybe upgrading so we can get the chainsaw, which will be a big help in harvesting this stuff until we can get to a point where we have a uh, I think coal this is the first power that you can do and have it uh, be automated completely. But I think that's it for today. We've got everything up and running and all raw materials coming in. Uh, next episode, we'll be doing some more expansion upgrading. But for now, as always, thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. <laughs>